Let's take a look here at conversational AI, which is technology that can participate in conversations with humans. So we have chatbots, voice assistants, and interactive voice recognition systems, which is like the second version to interactive voice response systems. So you know when you call in and they say, press these numbers, that is a response system and a recognition system is when they can actually take human uh, speech and uh, translate that into action. So the use cases here would be online customer support, replaces human agents for uh, for replying about customer uh, FAQs, maybe shipping questions, anything about customer support, accessibility, so voice operator UI for those who are uh, visually impaired, HR processes, so employee training, onboarding, updating employee information. Uh, I've never seen it used like that, but that's what they say is a use case. Healthcare, accessible, affordable healthcare. So maybe you're doing a claim process. I've never seen this, but maybe in the US where you do more of your claims and everything is privatized, it makes more sense. Internet of things, so IoT devices, so Amazon Alexa, Apple Siri, Google Home, and I suppose Cortana, but it doesn't really have a particular device, so that's why I didn't list it there. Computer software, so autocomplete search on phone or desktop, so that would be Cortana, something it could do. Uh, for the two services that are around conversational AI, for Azure, we have Q&A Maker. So create a conversational question and answer bot from your existing content, also known as a knowledge base. And Azure Bot Service, intelligent serverless bot service that scales on demand, used for creating, publishing, managing bots. So uh, the idea is you make your bot here and then you deploy it with this, okay?